Hi, my name is Rob Kellogg, and today we're going to talk about height calculation for fall protection requirements. Now, just because you have a harness on doesn't necessarily mean you're fall protected. You have to do a calculation to understand the distances that you're going to potentially fall to the next lowest level and find out if you're going to be protected or not. So today we're going to talk about the six foot shock absorbing lanyard. Probably the most common lanyard that you'll find out there these days. Uh, there are others in shorter lengths and in different mechanisms like self-retracting lanyards, but we're going to talk about that in another segment. Today we're talking about a six foot shock absorbing lanyard if you're hooked up to it. So let's get started. First thing we want to understand is where are you working from will to determine where you're going to take the calculation. You always want to start your calculation from the point of anchorage. Where is it that you tied off to? Not yourself, but the actual structures that's going to support you. And that's this point here. That distance, stretched out singularly, gets you to six feet. Now, once you fall over that edge, in this instance, that's when your arrest process begins. Now, the arrest process also is a diminished energy process due to your shock absorber. On that shock absorber, it is interwoven with stitching. And as the energy starts to pop these stitches, it slowly decelerates your ascent, your descent down to the ground. Call the shock absorber. So that is actually going to elongate your already initially six foot lanyard is going to stretch an additional three and a half feet potentially. So you could get to nine and a half feet at this point from just that lanyard to the D-ring in the back of your shoulders. <clears throat> Next, we want to take into consideration the stretch. The stretch comes from not just the shock absorbing lanyard itself, but also from the harness. That harness is actually going to widen or lengthen uh, from the energies that you produce while you fall into it. Uh, and that is, again, part of the shock absorbing process. So we want to add that on to our calculation, which now gets up at 11 foot 6 inches. Primary person we're trying to protect is you or yourself. And we want to make sure that we have enough room for that. Average construction worker is 6 feet in length. So if you're a little taller, this is going to be a concern. I'm six foot three in my boots. This becomes an issue. So that's why you always want to add on your safety factor. Now with the additional person to your 11 foot six lanyard and the stretch gets us to 17 six. We want to add on that extra two feet for a safety factor, also known as a K factor. We get ourselves to 19 foot six. So when we do our calculation for a six foot shock absorbing lanyard, we want to ensure that we, the individuals we're trying to protect ourselves, have at least minimum 19 foot six inches to fall from our anchor point in which we tied off to the structure. Without that, you're going to have to use another system to protect yourself from that fall and make sure that you don't end up down here at the bottom. So with that, Take that calculation into consideration every time you start to utilize fall protection with a harness and make sure that you're using the right one for the right job. As always, be safe and have a great day.